Hello. In this course of Boolean algebra, more or less all we did was what we called uh, simplifying simplified Boolean expressions, like this one. This uh, expression is from our last video, and we simplified that to get uh, this one. But in the end, what did we do? Did we actually simplify that? I mean, the, the whole idea of simplification is kind of twisted here. You see, what do you call simplification? Uh, how many operations you perform on on this expression? For example, this expression, how many operations does it has? It has one multiplication, two negation, three addition, then uh, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So we have 10 operations here. And uh, did we simplify that anymore? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10? Oh, what the fuck? Is that any simpler than that? You may say no, but actually it's, uh, it's a very different concept. You can have more uh, operations on the left or you can have less operations on the right or vice versa what we did actually we didn't simplify it anything at all well we simplified it but not in terms of how many operations we had we simplified that in terms of how easy is that to understand this expression and this is true, this is what is the point of simplifying. The, sim the simplification was done for the human eye to understand this expression. For example, uh, you can easily evaluate this expression. You know directly from this expression that uh, it, will be, it will equal to 1 if AB equals to 0, 0. In this case, A negated will be 1, and B negated will be 1, and this term will be 1, and the whole expression will be 1. Uh, you see how it's easy to evaluate this expression? So that was the mean of simplifying. And uh, moreover, this type of expression is called sum of products. Sum of products because it's a, it's a sum of products. As you can see, you have uh, sum here and sum right here. And between sums, you have products. This product, this product, and this product. So we have sum, to, sum of three products, right? Uh, and the cool thing about sum of products is when one of a product equals to 1, for example this one, then the whole thing equals to 1, because if we add 1 to anything, we get 1 in Boolean algebra. And that's the cool thing about uh, sum of a product. That's why we perform transformations in order to get uh, our expression to put it in this form, in sum of products form. And you see how easy it is to evaluate such an expression. You know from scratch that uh, it will equal to 1 in case AB equals to 0, 0, or in case ACD equals to 0, 1, 1, or in case BCD are 1, 1, 1. And that's it. That's pretty simple. And you cannot do uh, you can see that directly from this expression because it's uh, it's more complicated in terms of understanding it its uh, performance what we can t what the result will be for each variable and this is some for product term and in all our videos videos what we did we performed simplification in order to get some of products version of our initial boolean expression 
Uh, and that's why we did all this sample products uh, thing. And for short, we usually write uh, some of products as uh, we usually write SOP. And this means uh, sum of products. And that's a hell of a useful uh, representation of any Boolean expression. So that's one of useful uh, representation. But there are also uh, others. There are others uh, presentations as well. But let's start with the, this one. The next representation, so this was sum of product. And this was uh, just random expression that ha doesn't have any form in it. 